Okay, we'll go through the Bookmap platform details today. Uh, this is Bruce at bookmap.com. And uh, let's go through the risk disclaimer. Uh, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Okay, and uh, uh, go to bookmap.com, uh, find out more about uh, uh, the software. Uh, you can become a member, uh, have access to free resources, and uh, reach out to us at support at bookmap.com with any questions. Okay, so the um, let me show you where you can find Bookmap. Uh, just go to bookmap.com and we'll click on Explore. Okay, and um, if you're new here, then uh, the way to go is to uh, uh, just watch a few of these intro videos here so you understand what Bookmap is. Uh, it is uh, uh, quite a bit different than uh, a lot of the traditional uh, candlestick charts that are out there or um, uh, other charting platforms. Okay, we're really showing uh, very uh, in-depth detail uh, in the order flow. Uh, and um, let's uh, continue down here. Uh, you want to learn how to connect a book map. Uh, this is how uh, you, you can connect it to the uh, futures markets uh, and also for, uh, for book map for uh, equities, U.S. equities through Dev Experts and NASDAQ. Okay, there's also a web version through Tradeavate. Okay. Uh, and uh, all the rest, though, this is what you will need to connect Bookmap. Okay, a little bit further down, here's the pricing information. Uh, there's a 14-day trial period that's free with the um, with the product, so uh, it's really risk uh, risk free. You have nothing to lose. Give it a shot. See if you like it. Uh, download it, and um, you will need your own data provider. Uh, we're not a data provider. We're just a software platform. Okay, so let me go through the different versions here. There's only really two okay basic and advanced uh, the difference between these two uh, is the uh, ability to trade right from the chart right here with the one click trading uh, as well as these add-on features okay the add-on features are indicators uh, at uh, a unique slant slant on some of the indicators that give insight uh, to um, uh, order flow and balances uh, and does uh, uh, identifying uh, specific traders and types of uh, trading activity like iceberg orders as well as uh, larger traders that uh, may be uh, skewing the auction okay we also have a correlation tracker and uh, some others as well okay so those are the two versions uh, there's also um, uh, these packaged packaged versions here uh, basic and advanced with DX feed. Now the DX feed, we're not a data provider. We've just partnered with uh, DX feed, okay? And um, uh, they uh, they are offering access to U.S. equities only, okay? So uh, it's not for futures. It's only for U.S. equities, okay? Uh, you get a free trial with it. However, it is delayed data. Uh, if you want live data with U.S. equities, it's uh, fifty-nine dollars a month. Okay, that's the, uh, uh, there, there's no way getting around that. I mean, that's just um, uh, how it is, it's, and it's not, you know, uh, up to us. It's through the data provider, okay? Um, so, you, nonetheless, you will get a 14-day trial period with that as well. it just be delayed data, all right? Uh, if you want to uh, look a little further into it, you can compare features right here. Just click on this link, and uh, and you'll see the differences here, okay? Uh, there's also, um, uh, here's the web version, the basic and advanced, and then there's also uh, quant features. And uh, you can, this is for those of you who are, uh, you know, trading at a high frequency environment and uh, quant uh, type of activity. And you can see what you're getting here. All right. So anyway, uh, that's that. Uh, then once you become a member and you're in the uh, book map portal, which you can find here, uh, you can see uh, a bunch of different things. There are uh, videos here, uh, co uh, components and features, and then there's a lot of videos here uh, and other um, uh, educational uh, uh, materials here uh, that um, uh, you, can, you can access in the portal. Uh, any questions you have, you can go to the support FAQs here as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, and uh, let's jump over here. You can follow us on Twitter. You'll get the most up-to-date information here. Okay, and then the um, uh, and that is uh, let's see, 
it is at bookmap underscore pro. All right. And uh, then here on our YouTube page, you can uh, access the features and components, uh, all the videos here. So if you're new, uh, I would recommend uh, watching some of these to understand what, you know, some of the features are. Uh, and then maybe some of these order flow videos uh, just to get a feel for uh, what we go over uh, in the uh, in the webinars. Uh, and then there's an educational course that is here. Uh, and then the recordings of, uh, of these webinars you'll find here. Okay, so a lot of information. Uh, and, um, uh, but, uh, you know, keep it simple. Uh, you're in these webinars now. Uh, ask questions. We'll go through it and uh, features and components as well. Uh, and then uh, we will get into a little bit of uh, live order flow analysis. Okay. Now there's a distinction though, uh, and we uh, we just recently did this um, because uh, there was a lot of demand for uh, these webinars here. Uh, this is the platform details webinar. It is open to all. Okay. Uh, you can uh, register on the home page at Bookmap, and it's open for all, and uh, it's an introduction to Bookmap. Uh, once you are in trial, okay, through the 14-day uh, trial period here, uh, then you have access to the Bookmap uh, a Live Order Flow Advanced Analysis. Okay, in these webinars, uh, we go through uh, what Bookmap is showing us in the live market, uh, reading the order flow, going through a process uh, that you can learn uh, to integrate order flow within the way that you trade. Uh, and uh, and how to spot some of these uh, opportunities in the live markets. Okay, so if you're interested in that, then uh, you will. Um, well, th the access is that uh, for those that uh, are currently using Bookmap. Okay, so you'll need to do the trial. Um, and uh, the reason we did that was to separate out a lot of the um, more advanced users were uh, getting bogged down with a lot of. Um, uh, uh, newer questions or, uh, you know, going through the same material where we just jump right in, uh, in the advanced, uh, order flow analysis. All right. Okay. So let's, uh, let's jump into book map now. And, uh, what are we looking at? Uh, and, um, and, and, uh, and then we'll start to an analyze a little bit of the, uh, uh, the order flow as well. Okay. So, uh, let's let's take a look. ES is actually uh, starting a trend uh, more than uh, more than I expected. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, we'll start with just the ES. That's fine. Uh, it's, it's I'm not really expecting too much today, uh, but um, uh, we can uh, uh, we can take a look. Let's just take a take a quick look at the Nasdaq. Maybe that might be a little bit better. Or we can take a look at uh, oil here. How's oil doing? Oil. Mm. Now, I, boy, I think I'd rather look at either NASDAQ or the S&P. And I actually kind of like the S&P. So let's let's look at that. Uh, we'll take a look here. And um, let's just make it really simple here. All right. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to take a lot of the data off here. Uh, and we're going to look at a five-minute candlestick chart. This is the, the starting point to understand what book map is showing you and what other uh, platforms are not showing you. All right, so uh, here's a five minute candlestick chart in book map. You can see the 930 open and between each vertical dotted line here is 15 minutes of data. Now there's a problem here with this candlestick chart. There's, it's just open high, low, close uh, of each five minute period. That's all the data that you're getting here. There's so much more data uh, to make much more insightful trading decisions. Uh, and this is, I mean, you're making financial trading decisions based on very limited data here, okay? We do have a volume subchart, that is good, uh, but on this volume subchart, we have no idea where the volume took place on the candlestick, what type of volume it was, was it aggressive buying or selling, uh, and, um, and how much uh, exactly uh, within the specific area, okay? So that's a problem, uh, so uh, uh, let's, uh, take a look here and we're going to add on some layers of data. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in here the historical best bid and offer. Okay. And, uh, and you can see it, uh, uh, pretty, pretty clearly here. It's just this, uh, green line is the historical best bid. The red is the historical, uh, best offer. All right. So now we can understand what 
con constitutes uh, this uh, candlestick, for example. And um, uh, we're already seeing more data here, uh, insightful, uh, important data, uh, just with the historical best bid and offer. Like in this little area here, we're seeing a little microstructure right down here, okay? and another one up here. And then you see a break of that microstructure. All of that is completely lost in this five minute candle. Okay, we, we don't see any of that. You don't understand uh, uh, this little structure here. It kind of uh, uh, consolidated for a little bit and then it bumped up, it consolidated for a little bit and then it broke out of a range here into a newer range, a higher high. And we see it continued and we see it still continues. This is giving us a lot of insight. Now let's turn on the volume and get more insight. Okay, using the volume dots, uh, we understand where the volume took place. Okay, and uh, let me zoom into this area. So I'm just going to click on the hand tool, and uh, you can use these the zoom in and zoom out tools if you like, but it's quicker just to hover over an area uh, with your mouse and then uh, zoom in quickly with your center mouse wheel. Okay, so uh, here's that five minute period. Okay, now I've got it broken down. Uh, each vertical dotted line is showing me uh, one minute of data, okay? So here's our five-minute candle, uh, nice doji right here. Uh, and uh, now we're getting insight, though, uh, to exactly what uh, uh, happened in this area, okay? And we have the uh, aggressor classification of the volume that took place on the historical best bid and offer. Okay. Let me zoom in a little bit more in, into this little area right here just to show you what I mean. Okay, So here's your historical best bid and offer. Okay. And you can see it, you know, it's moving back and forth and up and down. Uh, in this little period here, uh, we can see a green dot and a red dot, or many green dots and red dots. Uh, on the historical best offer here, the red line, uh, this green dot uh, signifies an, an aggressive market buy order. Uh, that trans transacted right here at this specific time. Okay, we can use the rollover tool to check it out and see exactly what it was. Okay, it's showing me here that this dot uh, was it was a, a market buy. We know that because it took place on the uh, on the best ask. Uh, we get the date, the time, uh, the liquidity on the ask at that price level, uh, and the volume uh, at that uh, at that price level. Okay, so this is for a volume of five. Okay, so now we, we consider this to be an aggressive uh, order, uh, and we and um, that, that's the classification that we use here uh, in Bookmap, which is uh, pretty common. Uh, it means that uh, someone hit the market buy button, and it's aggressive because they wanted into the market. They were not willing to wait. Uh, they they actually paid a, a higher price. Uh, they paid the spread to be able to get into the market here. All right now, it's the opposite for the red. It's an aggressive market sell order. All right now, let me show you as I continue to zoom in. Even even this one here is it's potentially uh, for a number of trades. And let's let's take a look here. No, oh yeah, no, it was it was for uh, a, a couple of different trades here. Now, in fact, I have a trades counter here which I can. Uh, take a look at. Uh, and uh, yeah, two distinct um, uh, trades took place within this range here. One for a volume of three and one for a volume of two. So you can see as I zoom back out, we take these two dots, these two uh, trades, and uh, we just visually uh, aggregate them together now because I'm zooming out and there's not enough space to show them uh, any longer. So I need to show it as a uh, uh, a, a, a bigger dot, uh, and you can see that uh, all the way through here. In fact, you see the pie display here, uh, which shows buying and selling. Well, it's because so much occurred there uh, that um, uh, we, we can't give you, we just give you the overall uh, in this display. Okay, so let me zoom into this area and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, left click, hold, and drag, and then if I continue to zoom in, Note how I'm breaking apart all of this trade activity. Okay, and let's continue to look at the buys here. Okay, the sells are over here. Uh, and note how I continue to zoom in and I'm breaking apart every single trade uh, that took place here. Now this was for one, and that's for a volume of 
219. Wow, it's a big trade. Um, okay, so um, uh, anyway, now look at look at the um, uh, the behavior of this aggressive buying. Okay, I mean very clearly, this is algorithmic activity. Look at the spacing here. Okay, uh, a little tranche here of uh, uh, three uh, orders that took place, a space, and then another three, a space, another three, and a space, and another three. Okay, and the same same as the as the beginning here. They just a little bit of the size is mixed up as well. Okay, and uh, some of the algos are are programmed that way to kind of uh, uh, disguise uh, uh, the uh, uh, time and sales going through. All right, so now you understand uh, what bookmap is showing you, and we're looking down here uh, in our timeline in microsecond level. Okay, so that's what bookmap is showing you, and we're able to go and and uh, we record every single event, and we're able to see uh, down to these extremely low time frames. Okay, and then but we're giving you the overall when we zoom back out. Okay, so you understand what occurred in some of these areas. Okay, so now we're back here and zoomed out into our five-minute candlestick chart. Okay, and uh, now we understand this trading range here, uh, and then a little bit of consolidation and another trading range here, uh, and then we broke out here. Okay, not much of a breakout. It just it just went like a tick or two higher, uh, but uh, uh, it still broke out, and you can see uh, the aggressive uh, buying here that took place. Okay. So in this area here, actually, I, I'm not getting a lot from the volume. It's uh, there's both back and forth, um, uh, but uh, here I have some insight. Okay, I see the aggressive buying after this five-minute uh, candle candle uh, closed, uh, exactly after it closed. Okay, uh, the aggressor the aggressor uh, kicked in here and uh, started sweeping the price levels above. Okay, one, two, three, uh, and and four. Okay, so they, they um, basically swept the book with uh, aggressive orders, uh, and we're in a new trading range. Okay, so that's all of that information here is not in the candlestick chart. Okay, you understand what type of volume, where it took place, uh, how, how much, uh, and um, uh, the structures too. Uh, you, can, you can gauge uh, some of these microstructures. Okay, so that's just the volume. Now, um, I don't have much time left here, so we'll continue on with the um, the current market, and uh, we're going to go over now uh, the um, uh, the auction part. Okay, so we have the volume, uh, and we've covered that in detail here. But let's go through the auction now. So in the current market, uh, to get the current state of the market, uh, most of us are using a dome. Okay, to get our depth of market. Okay, this is the dome and book map here. Okay, we have the current order book, which is basically your, your depth of market. You can see best bid and offer here, okay, at this price level. And then here it is graphically uh, in this window as well with the dashed lines. Best bid and offer and last traded volume is this number. Okay, now in the limit order book here, you see liquidity added and pulled all the time. Okay, that's what these numbers represent. These are contracts. Uh, and um, uh, when you see the numbers change, either contracts were added or pulled. It's in, in this sense we're on the uh, on the best offer, or I'm sorry, on the offer side, and uh, these are sellers. They're providing liquidity with limit orders, uh, and uh, we can all read uh, their behavior. Okay, and that's good. So now we understand that there's higher liquidity up here, for example. Uh, like a, about a point higher now, you see 1,437 contracts here, uh, and that's uh, the highest here on the offer. Okay, so we know that there's sellers up here. Uh, once these numbers change, though, uh, you lose that information, okay, and they're changing all the time. So uh, that's a problem. Uh, and where Bookmap will uh, solve that issue is that uh, we're going to give a graphical representation to these uh, numeric values uh, in your limit order book, uh, and then we're going to capture it and we're going to transpose it onto the chart historically. Okay, so let me go through that. So I'll just turn on the heat map here. 
and I'll turn on my indicator panel as well. Um, and um, and let me adjust this heat map a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now the uh, these areas here, if you see in the heat map a bright area, well that signifies a high liquidity. So look at the area up here at 68. We have 1,500 contracts, and it's pretty bright. Uh, at the moment, it's the brightest. Okay, so that's high liquidity. So other shades of gray, um, if they get a little darker, it's going to be less liquidity, and so on. Now we have a graphical representation here in this window of the current limit order book. Okay, and um, uh, now where it gets interesting is we take this data here, okay, these, a number will change and the heat map will change. Okay, we'll take this data here and we transpose it onto the chart historically. Okay, so you can now read the auction. All right, so when you see, for example, let's zoom in here and we'll, we'll just watch in real time, watch how some of these, um, uh, uh, some of these areas here will change and then we'll, we'll see it uh, uh, recorded here. Okay, some high liquidity will come in. Okay, they just pulled liquidity here, and we see a change right here in the striation of the uh, heat map. That is pulled liquidity, this little area right here. Okay, it got darker. Now it got brighter again, too. So they pulled, and then they added back in. And that's what you're seeing here. Okay, and this is where it gets really interesting, because now we have... Uh, an understanding of how this whole auction here that would be very difficult to read in the limit order book, we can see how uh, it is, um, uh, uh, how it really unfolded. And we can start to gauge the intent of the buyers and sellers uh, at some of these areas much, much clearer than previously. You'd have to remember the number before. You'd have to remember the areas around it, just like this right here. Uh, did they have intent to buy or not? Did they pull? How much? Did they pull b up up above or did they uh, pull and add below, etc.? And, th and that's what we can gauge, and we can start to gauge uh, uh, these uh, this heat map very much uh, like an auction or like uh, uh, like the old trading pits. Basically, uh, these are people uh, providing liquidity. Uh, in, in a lot of senses, it's machines providing liquidity. <laughs> written uh, algos written by people okay so uh, anyway um, that gives us uh, a lot of insight now we have complete order flow we have the traded volume and we also have the uh, uh, the intent of the traders right so this area here high liquidity and we traded into it uh, and we can see a lot of volume that took place here Okay. Now, just because there's a lot of a lot of liquidity in an area, uh, it, it doesn't uh, necessarily mean that price is going to bounce from that area. It could, uh, but um, uh, it, it can also signify that uh, uh, the market can trade here. It has the potential to trade here. Okay. We'll, we get onto all of this later uh, in the advanced uh, webinar, uh, which uh, will start in about uh, four or five minutes. So. Um, uh, anyway, uh, starting to read the intent uh, of uh, of these traders, uh, and then uh, also start to read the uh, uh, where they're actually um, uh, committing themselves in their transactions, in the time and sales. Okay. Now, what's interesting here as well is because because of all of this information uh, is um, uh, historically recorded, uh, we we can uh, expose a lot of the algorithmic activity. And let's see uh, if w what we see here exactly. If I can find something specific. Okay. A little bit here, but it'd be better to find a better example. Yeah, I, I, this is the first one was the best. Um, so let's. Uh, and the S and P is it gets a little disguised with uh, the uh, the liquidity here. Okay. So 
let's uh, let's see, because it's such has such high liquidity. Okay, so here's this isn't bad. Notice these little areas here. Okay, so you can start to gauge the intent of these traders and some of the nefarious uh, uh, activity, uh, or uh, at least some of the games that they're playing. How look how this has got to be one trader or one individual actor. Uh, pulling liquidity uh, at some of these levels here and then adding it up here because it happened so quickly at the same time in this little area here. Okay, At the same time here, look how it's pulled here. Look how liquidity is added up here. Okay, So uh, they're working the, uh, the offer uh, and then adding over here on the bid as well. Okay, So you can start to understand uh, what's going on. Uh, the intent of these traders, uh, and uh, as, as well as the transactions where they're taking place. Okay, so I um, uh, hope that uh, is uh, helpful for you guys. Uh, we didn't get to uh, reading uh, much of the uh, live analysis here. Uh, just uh, uh, there's not a whole lot to look at. I mean, you could look at potential, uh, you know, kind of book flip here. Uh, I don't know if I like it, but um, uh, we'll get into that later. But, uh, you know, there was high liquidity here on the offer. And it's flipping over to the other side here at 64. Okay. And you can see it come in. All right. Uh, and um, uh, the... Um, uh, so, so they they were they were sellers uh, here, and now they're buyers here. And usually, you know, that's how you'll trade up into a new trading range. You'll break out of a range, and you'll see like a, some sort of flip, uh, and uh, the buyers are are buying now at a higher level. Okay, this is a little too lofty for me, um, and uh, I, I'm starting to uh, I, I want to really gauge the intent of these traders here. Uh, you know, maybe they're supporting it for the moment, but uh, we'll see here. Maybe they'll lower the offer here and get really aggressive, and we'll see some aggressive selling uh, in this area. And instead of us trading up into a new range, this whole area above 64 here would be trapped volume. Okay. And anyone who bought up in these ranges is going to have to cover. Where would they, where would they cover? Well, they're going to have to cover, you know, probably one of these swings here. Lighter hands probably down here around the 63 area. Uh, maybe uh, someone who's got a little deeper pockets around 60. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's uh, uh, something that uh, we go through in a lot, a lot more detailed analysis in the advanced webinar. Okay. All right. So let's see um, a few questions here. Okay. Yes. Hello, Francisco. Okay. Um, Okay. All right. Well, uh, yeah, we'll, um, we'll, uh, if you guys are uh, already in trial or um, if you're uh, current bookmap uh, users, then uh, we'll see you right away in the, uh, in the next, uh, in the next webinar. Okay. All right. Take care guys. Bye.